<laughs> Welcome to my channel, Australian Women's Life and Style. Today I have a huge big haul for you. I've got things from General Pants, Ali Fashion, Kmart and Portman's. I've got some beautiful things from Portman's that I can't wait to show you. And I've also got one of my favourite dinners to show you at the end of the video. It's a jam-packed video today. <laughs> of course, we've got teddy bear and little bits of my family as well. But first things first, let's start with the haul. And the first thing I want to show you is the most beautiful hair care that I am really having some success with. You can see my hair, it's grown so much and it's really feeling so much softer and healthier. And that's because I've got to show you. I put it back in its box just to make it look so pretty for you, but it is called Growth Bomb. It's actually been proven to have 10 times the potency of any other natural hair growth ingredient. And I think it's just incredible. It smells so, so good. But let me go through these products with you. So first up, let's... Well, can she get it together? First up, let's talk about their beautiful Growth Bomb Supercharged Shampoo and Conditioner. This beautiful shampoo and conditioner smells so yummy, protects against breakage, increases hair density and gives lots of volume, leaving my hair shiny and helps it grow and feels so, so soft. I'm absolutely loving it. I think you guys will as well. But look at the volume my hair's got going on. It's so good. And not only that, it smells beautiful and it makes your hair feel really beautiful. And if it's going to help my hair grow, you know, I used to have black hair and then I've highlighted my hair. And since I highlight my hair, honestly, the damage is out of control. It usually goes through like a snapping stage at the end of my hair. So I've really been able to get it to a proper like a bit more length i always used to have to have it like above my shoulders just because my hair would not survive i'm just on a mission to find products that will help my hair get back to its i really want longer hair and i want it to be like strong and healthy and feel soft and the main thing is it's really gentle on your scalp you know that I, if you follow me you guys know i can't the reason why i highlighted my hair in the first place is because i get allergies from um, from hair dyes so I've really struggled with my scalp and my hair so I'm really careful with what I use and this is just incredible I'm loving it and it smells so so good let me have a little smell at the top oh, it just smells good enough to eat that's the way I can explain it. it's yummy oh, it smells so divine and these two are a super big winner love them and then I also have the Growth Bomb Supercharge Serum and also the Growth Bomb Supercharge, it's a spray as well. So these you work in conjunction after you get out of the shower. So you leave these in your hair. So you start off with the Growth Bomb Spray. Leave in spray to nourish the scalp for stronger, fuller, silkier hair, which I love. So this spray is the intensive support for thinning and distressed hair. If you follow me, you also may know that I do have Hashimoto autoimmune disease, which is a thyroid condition, and I lose my hair all the time. And these products are definitely going to help with that as well, which I'm so happy about. All the good stuff that you need to make your hair just really healthy, which is fabulous. And then I've also got the Growth Bomb Supercharged Serum, an, anti an, an antioxidant cocktail for silky, strong hair. And it's a leave-in treatment so, and protects against breakage for thin hair, which is definitely what I have. It doesn't look like it at the moment, <laughs> thanks to these products, but I do have very fine, thin hair. I had to let Teddy out. He's being so naughty. He's now barking around the backyard like a maniac. <laughs> So Growth Bomb has reached out to me and they have offered my viewers a 15% off discount code. If you'd like to try these products out for yourself, go to growthbomb.com and use my discount code MELISSA15 and that's going to give you 15% off the whole range, which I'm so excited about. I love when I can give back to you guys. And honestly, it really does work. It, my hair feels amazing. It's definitely full and voluminous and it's also holding my curls too which you know sometimes I've got to do a lot of things to keep these curls in and um, yeah this is definitely helping so I love it I highly recommend it and uh, yeah I've got a discount code I'll have all the details for you down in the description box just under the video you'll see a little arrow hit that and then it will open up the description box and I'll have all the links and everything for you there <gasps> so good 
and following up with a couple of extra things from for beauty i also have been really loving the clinique moisture surge intense that's what it looks like there and it is a pink gel cream it's like a like a gel cream basically but since i've been having since i've been having the vampire facials i've actually had two now and I'll I'll link the first video for you here. And I'll show you a bit more of that in next week's video. Um, but it is definitely, definitely helping my skin. I'm starting to see a bit more of a difference now that I've had two. And I've got two more to go. But in between, you can't use any active ingredients. You just want to have nice, gentle, hydrating things. So I've been using the Clinique, yeah, Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> if you've got a dry skin or dehydrated skin, I highly recommend that for you. And I also picked up from Kmart my favorite beauty blenders. I highly recommend these. If you don't have, if you want to get sort of airbrushed makeup, like how my foundation looks, I honestly think between using the Estee Lauder Double Wear and then using this, these little like sponges, make sure you wet them. They don't work if you don't, if they're just dry, they don't work. You need to wet them, wring them out with a towel, make them nice and big and spongy. And then I just put my foundation on with my fingers. Actually, I'll leave a video, I'll leave a link for how I do my hair and makeup here for you. That's a whole video that shows you from start to finish how I do my hair and makeup. And um, this is my secret weapon. <laughs> First, I wanted to show you this gorgeous jumpsuit. Now, I did buy this jumpsuit last winter and I got it from uh, General Pants. It's such a cool, amazing jumpsuit. I love it. Now, they do also have it in, they do also have it in a lighter denim as well. And they're back. They're back. I went into General Pants the other day. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to pull this back out again and show you guys because you can buy them at the moment. I'll have it linked for you also down in the description box. It's so good. Actually, let me put some footage in of what it looks like. <laughs> jumpsuits for winter i just love them they look so great with a blazer or even like a trench coat over the top so cool and this one's really great because it's wide legged and it's just i just love it i love wearing it with sneakers i've worn it with heels it looks super sexy with heels i've worn it with a belt i've worn it without a belt like it's just so so good and i highly recommend i just think it's the type of thing denim jumpsuits or anything denim denim dresses they're my go-to if i'm going to a party or if i'm going you know Anywhere that's slightly casual, but you know, you want to look nice. Anything denim, like a denim jumpsuit, denim dress is my go-to. I love it. Yes, super cute. My daughter's not here to show you, but I will put in that footage for you. <laughs> okay, so next up, you would have seen in last week's video over Easter, I actually wore two dresses and I was just looking for some cute, cheap dresses. And I went into Ali, I think it's called Ali or Ali Fashion is what the name is on Instagram. They're in most of you know shopping centers, I'm sure. They're sort of more of an affordable brand. And um, anyway, I found these two, where's the front? These two gorgeous little sundresses. And they also have lot the same material, but in longer versions as well. Um, and they were, I think originally, I think I've cut the tags off. They were originally $59. They had a deal there that brought them down. So I got the two of them for around $40. So super affordable. But the actual, like, honestly, I've bought dresses from like Petal and Pup, from um, say Hello Molly, those types of stores. And they're exactly the same quality, but these are much, much more affordable. So they've got the, this one here has really pretty, like sheer, I don't know if you can see that. It's got really pretty sheer sleeves. And then this really lovely ruching just under the bodice. 
and then it comes down into a cute little tiered sort of dress it's lined this here is sheer i hope you can see that can you see anyway it's like this beautiful sort of chiffony thick chiffony type material with a little frill detail anyway i wore it on easter sunday and i loved it i felt really pretty it was great to eat in too because it sort of it just comes under the bust and then falls straight down so i ate a ton over easter <laughs> and my tummy was super bloated and no one even knew so i love dresses like that they're so good Cute is this dress from Ali Fashion? Oh my goodness, is that what it's called? Ali Fashion? Ali? Yeah. It's very cute and it was like under $40. <laughs> and then, like I said, they've got sort of the same top, um, but then they've also got like a longer skirt. So, if you prefer a one that's not a mini dress, if you like it to be sort of three quarter length, they've got those with just a little split that goes up to about your knee. And then I really love this one as well. This is also fully lined as well. And this is such a cute dress from Ali, Ali Fashion. It was like $40, $40 on special. <laughs> this one has oh, just like a little bow detail, which has cute little puffy sleeves. And then they're ruching around the waistline as well or just under the bust so it's just sort of hits you here but then hides your tummy so great tummy hider which i love and yeah another little cute dress i love mini dresses because my legs are like my skinniest part of my body <laughs> you're always going to highlight your skinny part so if you've got a super tiny waist then i say get the you know and you know you don't want to show your legs then get the longer version um, but if you love getting your legs out and that makes you look good and you want to hide your tummy then these type style of dresses are great for that and i love too that they cover your arms <laughs> i'll do the kmart stuff and then i'll show you the portman's things so then i also picked up these pants here so i show you i have shown you these in a try on recently and they're kind of like a little boot cut style, um, like flared pant, like a ponty pant. I think that's what you would call it. Yeah, here we go. Sorry, I've worn them to work. So I've taken the tag off. They were $20 and I got them in a size 12 and they're called the flared, flared pant. I love the little crossover detail here and they just flare out at the perfect length and they make your legs look so, so long. Very, um, you know, it makes me kind of feel a bit like Posh Spice, you know, what, or Victoria Beckham, not Posh Spice, but Victoria Beckham, <laughs> that kind of style, you know, like really long and just sleek and fitted, like they're really lovely. <laughs> actually when I went shopping I did pick up a blue one of my favorite t-shirts here's the tag I got a size 12 they're only ten dollars they're called the butter soft tea and this color is blue moon and I just thought it's such a pretty such a pretty blue I love blue on girls with brown hair I think blue looks amazing with girls with blonde hair too it's one of those colors that looks good on everyone um, but I wanted to get a blue one I've got a brown and I've got lots of black Bring it out, no. And I've got lots of black ones as well, and I wear them to work all the time. I love these t-shirts in the black, and I wear them with my with the black pants. So I love them with these with these flared pants, and I also absolutely adore them with my wide leg pants from Portman's, which I'll talk to you about in a second. <laughs> Then I had to show you now, I am very aware that this is like the denim trench coat from Kmart, which is sold out as far as I know at the moment. Now we all know I've been doing Kmart videos for the last nearly four years. And I know when they sell out like this, they will be back. So don't stress. Um, they're, they're too good of a seller, I think, for them to not ever get them again. So I'm sure they'll be back very soon. Um, but, and I do recommend getting them. I love it. Now, I got the, yeah, I size down to a size 8. De definitely recommend going down a couple of sizes. It's quite oversized. 
Um, I'll show you what, oh, it, it's heavy. <laughs> I actually have to put it down because my arm's getting sore. So it's super heavy, it looks so chic. I'm, I love it with, actually I've been waiting, I've got one more thing that I really wanted to show you guys. I just realized because at Target, I did end up getting the white, um, the white knit set. I'll show it here, actually. It's so gorgeous. I showed you that, I think in last week, actually it was in last week's video, so I will tag that for you. But they didn't have my actual size. I tried on, in this video, I've actually tried on, I think it was a small pant and an extra small top. And I needed to get an extra small pant. So it is quite generous in the sizing in this here. But I thought, how nice would that look with this um, denim trench coat over the top? Oh, I'm going to be living in that and school drop off. <laughs> um, and, you know, and just when I'm running around doing errands, especially once this weather cools down today, it's actually super hot again. We're nowhere near any autumn weather yet. But when it is, I'll be rocking this and you'll see this and also my new um, tracksuit set very soon. Actually, now I think about that, I'm going to go and check my emails and see what's happening with that target. <laughs> I just had a look at the email and it does say that it's been delayed, so that's a bit of a bummer. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately it's not going to arrive until later in the week, so I might, if it, when it arrives, I'll put in a little bit of footage of it here. Okay, next up from Kmart, I also picked up when I took you shopping, I found these two little bras. And these were down to six dollars. They were look, they've been put down a couple of times. They are their 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 amazing um these are the skims. Hey, these are the skims dupes and they're so nice. I've got it in black and also in the nude colour. And then when I saw the pink, I thought for that price I'm getting two. <laughs> I get them um get them the size that you are around your middle, so I get them in the size 12. And um, yeah, really comfortable and just lovely. And for six dollars, like pr price of a cup of coffee, too good. <laughs> the next top I got from Kmart. Now I've shown you this before. I had to go back and get a second one because I wear them again all the time for work. Best work to be <laughs> best work shirts. Um, I love the gold detail because it makes it just look so expensive and the arms are great. They come a bit longer actually. They really cover the whole top of your arm and that just makes me feel so much more comfortable when I'm at work. I wear these all the time. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to show you all the Portman's things. <laughs> so, like I showed you previously, I got the wide leg ponty pant. Now... I've got my tag here. I have been wearing them to work and of course it doesn't tell me. All I know is I've got them in a size 10 and they're $99.95. Doesn't say the name of them unfortunately but I will link them. They've got like a, a sewn in seam that goes down the front which looks really nice and they're a wide leg and I did show you them I will show you what they look like on. I showed you a few hauls ago actually the other pair because I've got two and I just alternate them all the time because they just look so nice and I wear sneakers to work and I like to try and cover them as much as I can because my feet just get too sore um, I stand on my feet for like eight hours so um, if I can hide my sneakers I try to and the wide link pants do that really nicely um, so yeah but I just love the way they look they make you look really tall and elongated and um, yeah, they last really well. They're just a really nice sort of, you know, they look nice, Teddy. They look lovely with jackets, with jumpers, you know, just can't go wrong with a great pair of black pants. <laughs> quality of these compared to the Kmart, it's worth the money and difference. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then I also love this little zippered top. Now actually, now I say that, now I think about it, I did buy it online. All of these things, they have, they always have these like 20% off sale or 30% off everything sale. And I actually got it on a 30% off sale. So I didn't pay 
the ticketed prices for these. I did get them on special. Um, so this one was $119.95, but I, def I think I didn't even pay like $80 for it. So that's why I got it. Okay. So this is like my little Peggy Bundy t-shirt. I don't know if you're from a kid from the 80s and you will remember. Um, what was it called? Peggy Bundy. Oh my goodness, if you guys know, you're probably screaming at the TV and I can't think of what it's called. Peggy Bundy and she'd wear these types of little tops with like three quarter pants and heels and she'd like run around the house. And what was his name? Al? No. Oh my God, I've forgotten. I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. If you like to hide your tummy, these are the best style of tops. Little peplum top. And I love that it's got the collar detail too. So it's really lovely for work. And then the gold details of the zipper is so nice. And the material's really nice and thick and holds you in. Like kind of that scuba style material. I don't really know, but it's really nice. <laughs> and I got it in a size medium and it just kicks out nicely. Fits really well here and then kicks out over your belly. I wear them to work with my wide leg pants or black skinny jeans. I I really love these styles of tops and I always, when I go to Portman's, I look for like little jackets and anything peplum style of theirs is really good. And any blazers or coats. And this little jacket blazer is so nice. I could not help myself when I saw it. So it is like a tweed black jacket. And again, I got it on sale, so it wasn't as expensive. It was 169, but I did get it cheaper than that. Um, can't remember what, but it's got these really big hook and eyes to do it up. Um, and I love the plaited detail. You see that there? So it's got the plaited detail on the pockets and then down and around the collar which looks so nice I can't wait it hasn't been cold enough for me to, to wear this yet and I can't wait to wear it um, I just think it looks oh, it's just so lovely it, it looked great over a little dress it's gonna look so beautiful with like jeans heels and like a little um, camisole or a white shirt underneath um, I'll be definitely wearing it to work as well so I just thought it looked really smart so as soon as the weather gets cooler you'll definitely see me out and about in this <laughs> So I love in winter that I can wear my wardrobe full of skinny jeans. I've got so many pairs of skinny jeans and I hate that. I know they're not in fashion, but I don't care. I think they look so great with boots, especially in autumn, winter. And as soon as the weather gets cooler like this, I just think it looks so nice with a belt, boots, and then like a really lovely little jacket or a long blazer or even a trench coat. It looks really good. I just, this is my go-to staple when, um, yeah, when the weather gets cooler, I love it. You have to let me know down in the comments whether you still love wearing skinny jeans or not, but I'm bringing them back. <laughs> oh, okay, the haul is now done. Oh my goodness, I've spoken so much. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> one of the most delicious dinners that I have all the time. I had showed you a couple of weeks ago um, how I've been sort of getting my cholesterol down and this is definitely one of the meals that I've been having as well and I told you I'd show you, I'll show you this in a couple of weeks. Well the time is now here <laughs> and this is so easy to do. It's one of those midweek meals that is healthy and delicious and really quick and easy to make as well. So so here it is. I'm making a little salmon Buddha bowl. Um, so we, basically we have rice, salmon, and then we have some veggies and just make it really flavorsome, but then also very healthy. You can hear Teddy huffing and puffing. What is going on? Let's look at him. Here he comes. What's wrong? What's all the huffing and puffing? 
<laughs> just depending on what you have in the fridge, I just add whatever is in there. It's really nice to have with some salad as well. Um, I love when I go to the Japanese restaurant to have courage chicken and they always put it with like a salad with rice and it's so good. So I've probably got a bit of an addiction from that particular um, from that particular dish that I really enjoy. But you can do the same thing. You can do it with salmon, which we'll do tonight. I've done it with um, crumb chicken or you can do it with beef, whatever. But then you just sort of lay it out nicely. But, but let me show you how I do it. So I've just got my little Kmart rice cooker going. So in the steamer, I've got some carrots and sweet potato. And then underneath, I've got some rice cooking. I showed you these roses in last week's video. And I had to pick them just because before they fully go, I had to enjoy them in the house. And they just look so beautiful. I love them. So I just thought I'd show you the ingredients of what I've got. So I picked up salmon fillets from Aldi. And then we've got some kewpie mayonnaise and also these dumpling sauces, which are so good. You can just use soy sauce if you like. I just love the taste. This is my favorite one. It's a little bit spicy and I get these from the Asian grocery store. Um, and the kids really like this. This is more like it's got a vinegary soy sauce kind of taste. Very umami. It's really good. Uh, then we've got some baby mini cucumbers. I got those from Coles. I always get the odd bunch. <laughs> and then I've got half an avocado here as well. And then I've got some salad leaf mix from Aldi as well. So I'll make a little salad and then we're going to sort of put it all together. First we'll start getting the salmon cooking and then I'll make the salad. salad dressing I'm going to use the Chang's noodle salad dressing it just gives it that lovely taste really yummy these are my little Daiso clips <laughs> and I love this little knife from Jamie Oliver it gives you the crinkle cut <laughs> just adds to the little bit of decoration I'm just going to sprinkle a little Chinese five spice on the salmon as well. It's really lovely to use this with chicken or any any of the meats. It tastes really good. And I only learnt recently, I always would get the tip out of an avocado like this and then turning it. But if you just actually push it from behind, it'll just <laughs> so it is so quick and easy so sort of lining it up i've got our salmon perfectly cooked and a little bit of rice underneath and then we're going to add in our salad leaves with the chains dressing on it So my cholesterol was at a level 10 and I've now got it down to a 7 already so I'm really happy with what I'm eating and that's why I thought I'd show it to you. Then I like to get the cucumber and we've got our avocado. It's all about getting healthy fats, getting your greens in and just keeping things healthy. And then the sauces, honestly, the sauces. It's all about the sauces. <laughs> so like I said, this is my favorite one. I'm actually running out. I'm going to have to go and get another, um, another lot of it, but I love this. And this really gives you the seasoning as well. So I'll put that over there. And on the rice. And I love hot sauce. So this is my favorite. As you can see, like this whole bottle is nearly done and it's humongous. <laughs> And I'll just sort of drip that all over everywhere. It's a touch of the Kewpie mayonnaise. <laughs> it doesn't want to drizzle for me. Now you can also add some lemon if you like. I always think, think that's nice to add just a little splash of lemon just to freshen things up. Yeah, pop that there. And 
Oh, you can hear my kookaburras in the background. They're here. I think eight here. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you see all the tails up here. <laughs> oh, careful, they are the clumsiest birds. They are so funny. What are you doing up there? <laughs> you better hold on. You better hold on. Oh, oh, <laughs> careful. <laughs> They're so funny. Ooh. <laughs> hey, hello. You come up and say hello. <laughs> oh, I know we've got this one. What's wrong? I just also wanted to say to you guys that a couple of weeks ago I was saying to you how I was struggling with YouTube and I don't think I expressed myself clearly. I just get frustrated with the growth on YouTube from, from the YouTube app itself, <laughs> not you guys. <laughs> um, I didn't explain that clearly. I, I just find I put so much effort and like I told you last time, like these videos take me at least three full days between filming and then editing them every single week. And I only get a couple of days off a week. So I work literally from the moment I wake up before I go to work. And then when I get home, I have a shower and I'm in bed and I'm editing. And I, I don't relax. That's the thing. <laughs> but I love it. I do absolutely love making these videos for you guys. And you guys honestly make my life. Like I do this because I love hearing from you guys and to hear that you enjoy my videos means the absolute world to me. I just grow so much on Instagram and even on TikTok I've grown so much but on YouTube I've been doing it nearly four years and I'm still under 5,000 followers and it's so frustrating and when I look on the back end I can see that more than half of my viewers actually aren't subscribed. So I know that there's my girls that are there that you write in my comments every single week and you wait to see my videos every Sunday and honestly guys I love you with all my heart I am so so grateful for you all and I just like I just wouldn't do it if it wasn't for you guys I really would I would leave YouTube and on Instagram this week at 11 11 last Tuesday I hit 50 thousand uh, followers on Instagram which is absolutely mind-blowing and I suppose I get frustrated because I can grow so quickly over there I try to keep it a bit different on YouTube and a bit, I love the long form that was the whole reason that I actually started doing content creating in the first place is because I love YouTube so much I just wish YouTube would just give me a helping hand every now and then and um, you know we'll just get my videos out there a little bit if you're not subscribed please 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 hit that hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy my content because it really does help my channel it helps my channel get out in the algorithm it helps it, my videos get seen and um yeah just supporting me like that really does help give it a like you know even if you don't like it i know every now every week i get maybe a three or three or four little thumbs down but even that's engagement <laughs> and it does you know all of it helps even the thumbs down helps and i know that people probably do it to be bitter and it is kind of bitter to put a thumbs down on someone's channel especially when if you had any idea the work that goes into it um, but you know there's always trolls everywhere unfortunately it's just a part of this game um, it's not about my soul tribe that are with me every single week. It was just trying to explain it and I didn't explain it well enough, but I hope I have now. <laughs> and I just love you all. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Yay! Actually, let me get Teddy Bear. Say hi all my girlfriends. Say hello. Oh, you've been a good boy. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and enjoyed the haul and also enjoyed seeing my Buddha bowls. They are so delicious. What's the matter? He's saying thank you ladies for watching. We, we love you guys and thank you so much for spending your precious time with us today. And I'll see you really soon. Bye. He said bye. 
Oh, baby, you're being so cute now. You're being a good boy. Oh, you say bye, ladies. Oh, beautiful. It's all the barking. You're being so good now. What a good boy. What a good little baby. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> I feel like a wet rat. <laughs> I feel like a wet rat. <laughs> I can't get it out. Oh no. Okay. Teddy, is that Teddy Bear? Teddy? baby boy. You're toasty on, on a Sunday morning, Teddy. <laughs> oh my god. Join our family, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Join our waffles. One, two, three. Join, Join our family, please like and subscribe.